What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the video. So I hope you guys have been enjoying all of the awesome coconut videos I've been doing, even though it's just slightly different from what I do here on my channel. But today I am going to show you the sea deck that I got put in on my boat on the Key West. If you're not familiar with my channel, um, I have a little 17 foot Key West boat, which I'm on right now. I just had it cleaned. You can check out that video right here where I got it professionally cleaned by Marky Marine. I'll put their info in the description box below. And then I had it decked out in Sea Deck by Castaway Customs, and I'll put all of their information in the description box below as usual. I'm actually, I've been home in Florida for the past month. Uh, I've been doing all kinds of, you know, fun things at home, getting lots of work done. One of those things uh, I did was take a free dive class. I've been wanting to take a free dive class for years, like, at least six or seven years now I've been wanting to do that. And I finally did it this year with Lewis. I reached my personal best depth at 62 feet and I'll put a clip in of that entire dive right now. So I was pretty stoked about that. It was actually a lot easier than I thought. I could hold my breath for, for over two minutes. I've never counted it before. Like I've always, you know, gone free diving and stuff and been pretty good about holding my breath, but I never actually like took the time to measure and time it and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool to see what I could do and then also learn a bunch more in training. We had an awesome teacher, his name was Christian. Oh. Um, I've been doing that. I uh, restocked my booty bands. All of the stock is back. Everything is not low anymore. I think I had like one left in two of the th items and I was getting a little nervous but um, it's all good now. And I also have two new products coming too which I'll show you uh, coming soon. So now I'm gonna get started with the C deck. The initial uh, consultation is so you get in contact with your local Castaway Customs dealer and they have employees in I think 24 different states. They have like a headquarters or a place where you can hire them to come out and do your sea deck on your boat. The first thing they do is they have someone come out and measure your boat. He came and used the laser method. I have some video clips I'll put in uh, of him doing that. It's pretty cool. He just uses like a laser pen and marks different points on the boat and it measures it out perfectly and it, he has like a little computer. When the second guy came, Aaron, came to install the actual sea deck, he told me that they don't do that type of method anymore. He said they use a different method now but it's a even better method so of course they've improved. So, so he comes out, measures the boat, he brings a big sample board full of all of the types of um, textures, the colors, all the different combinations and like the patterns and stuff that you can get and there's so many choices. What's really cool is that on their social media pages you can type in the hashtag and search for the combinations you want and they have a ton of photos of the different boats that have that, that color combination on the boat so you can see kind of what it looks like on different boats and get an idea and it was really helpful for me in choosing a color so the color i chose was mica over terra i'll put the hashtag of the words right there the reason i chose that was because i wanted to match the upholstery on the boat so i got the brushed texture two layers you can get three layers you can get two layers you can get one layer i got two layers two different colors and i got the teak on the floor and then just plain on the front, the bow, and then the two hatches back here. So let me show you really quick. 
So this is mica over terra. Okay, and it matches, see how it matches the upholstery here? There, there, very pretty. This is the brushed texture with the two layers. So you got, you know, the underneath, the layer underneath, which is a darker color, and the top layer, which is a slighter color. The teak pattern on the floor. So the floor looks like a pretty teak pattern. It's like pretty wood. You can see the upholstery on the chair in the front here matches that. And then they're super cool because they put my logo on the front. And then of course, that's their logo. Looks really good, I love their logo. And then you can see how I did the brush pattern on this area and the top, the front area. So, oh, also one of my favorite things is I got this like uh, console pad, which is perfect because we always put our stuff right here and it was just, you know, flat. So we'd have to like stuff our phones all back here to make sure they didn't fall down. And you know, things we'd put here would roll down when we we're driving. So now we've got this nice, you can see it kind of like dips in and makes like a nice little pocket right here. And that's all in the brushed as well. So it's really nice now it won't fall out or slide around crazy. That is the new Sea Deck. And I'm, I love it. The guy was so nice, Aaron, who came in and installed it. I have a whole video of him installing it, taking it out of the box, and it, it comes in a box. We gotta get the unboxing. Look at watch out. <gasps> wow. Oh, that looks so sick. Oh, nice. I love the color. Yeah, it looks good. That looks really good. Oh my gosh. Wow. You know, it's really cool. It's like a bunch of big stickers. Before he comes, actually, I had to wash the boat. They want it soap and water clean, brushed down and dry. So I did that real quick before he got here. And then he uses acetone to rub it on all the surfaces just to make sure it's really dry and clean and it will stick. And then he goes around and sets all the pieces out and lays them out just to make sure everything's there and it fits. Then he begins to peel off the backing and stick it onto your actual boat. It's a pretty cool process. And also what they did here with this cushion, this cooler seat, is um, they put the sea deck all throughout the bottom. So we actually had to pull this out, unscrew these, and then screw holes back in through. So we could have had them do the sea deck going around it or we could have, you know, done what we did, and uh, this, I think, just pr gives it, like, a cleaner look. I like the, the full, I think it looks better, so. Aaron, the guy who came and installed the Sea Deck, gave me two bottles of the cleaning solution that, I'll, I'll show you that in a second, that is uh, used great for cleaning your Sea Deck, and also as, like, a preventative thing, he told me. It's like, if you're about to go out fishing, or if you're about to go out and use the boat, it's not a bad idea to, use that to clean the boat off real quick because it has like UV protection in it. I guess it gives it a layer of protection against blood, you know, fish blood, salt water, stuff like that, the sun. So I'm about to do that right now. I haven't done it yet. And, and then we're gonna take the boat out for a little spin because it's a beautiful day. And I haven't taken the boat out yet with the new Sea Deck on it. And I really wanna take it out and show it off. Uh, sorry guys, it's really windy again today. This is the product the guy gave me to clean the Sea Deck. You can find this, I'll put a, a link in the description on where you can buy this cleaner, but it's so easy, it's a great product, and Castaway Customs actually has a YouTube channel also, where they show you another video of how to use this. Um, it's, a, it's a great, just quick video, it's super easy to do. You just wet the sea deck, spray this on, scrub it with the deck brush, let it sit for two to three minutes, and then rinse it off, and you're all set. I'm gonna get started, I'm gonna start with wetting the boat, just getting all the surfaces wet. This is all 
also um, marine safe. It's not going to harm the environment. It has no harsh chemicals in it. So that's another nice thing about this product because you're going to be using it on the water where it will drain out into the water. So it's always nice to use products on your boat that don't harm the environment. sit for two minutes and then rinse it off and then we can go have fun on the boat. Okay, she's ready to go. It's beautiful, nice and clean. Looks real pretty. And now it's even got a little layer of protection on it too. So again, this is that bottle of the cleaner that I used. It's pretty good stuff. I really like it. It removed like those bee pollen, those yellow bee pollen things you get down here in Florida. It's pretty new, so it wasn't really dirty, but if you go watch that Castaway Customs cleaning video, you'll see they post like a 10 year old mat that's never been cleaned and it cleans it so well. I, I was like, whoa, that's amazing. So check it out. Check out that video on Castaway Customs and we're gonna take the boat out. Hit the like button if you like this video. It really supports my channel. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell notification too if you want to be notified of when I have a new video. And I'll see you guys next time.